Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood super negro, the gap to Avenger himself, Anthony Sterling, right here in the Fortress of Solitude. And I'm here this time to review the 2020 reverse horror game, Carry On, developed by Phobia Game Studios and published by the good folks of Devolver Digital. The game puts you in the role of a multi-tentacled and multi-mouthed biomass organism that's been captured and thrown in this research facility that's owned by a company known as Relith Science. Some way, somehow, Creature gets out and all hell breaks loose as you go around trying to find an exit, killing every human that gets in your way. This game is fun, okay? Um, before my last review, I did Man Eater, where you play the role of a man-eating shark. You can check out my review to Man Eater right here or right here i don't know where the card's gonna show up who was looking for revenge well carry on has that same vibe that same feeling it is gruesome it is bloody it is disgusting the way the organism moves is very gelatinous slimy you leave a trail of red gunk everywhere you go and i will be honest with you it is super, super satisfying to kill in this game. Okay, yeah, I know there's all this controversy about violence in video games, you know, but let me let me be honest with you. If you were captured and you were experimented on and you had no sense of freedom, and then all of a sudden, the only way to reach your freedom is to mow down a bunch of MFs that's in your way, would you not do it? Think about that. When it comes to gameplay, Carry On reminds me of Metroid in the fact that in order to go to a new level and to reach different areas, you gotta have certain powers to get there. So throughout the game, you start to gain new powers. With new powers come biomass. You become bigger. And the bigger you become, the more powerful you become, but the easier of a target you become. Trust me on this. Sometimes it's best to play this game tea tiny because if you become this big hulking biomass, boy, do those gun bullets and flames hit your ass quicker than quick. It is not a joke. So whenever you gain a new power, sometimes it's good to backtrack, go into an area you've already been in, search around. You may find a new area you've never been in that's the cool thing some of the powers that are in this game are just dope as hell my favorite is the possession power when you take over someone it is awesome because one none of the en other enemies are going to notice unless they notice the tendril that comes out from the back of their neck they won't fire so you can have at it get someone who has a gun especially the flamethrower you will love every minute of just making human flambe and hearing their screams. That's something that really kicks ass in this game is when you hear their screams, it is satisfaction guarantee. But there's a catch. There's a lot of puzzle elements to this game where, hey, I am massive. I can take up pretty much a whole room. Not me figuratively, I lost weight, so pfft, whatever. There are parts you can't even get into, so you're gonna have to dump it out. So you have to find these pools, they're like purplish pink. You have to dump it, go back in, then reach the new level, or reach a switch, or fight an enemy. It's so cool, but it can get repetitive. It's not a bad thing. It actually teaches you to the point where you're like, okay, I know this pool is here, I know this pool is here, I could drop biomass here and quite possibly even accomplish a speed run or two. Now, as for the enemies, the enemies are not vast, but they are deadly. And boy, are they damn good with their guns. Crack shots, they never miss. You are going to die. They are going to unload on you. It will be a bullet storm. They will whittle you down till you are nothing. So you really gotta play this game smart. This isn't mindless. 
there is puzzles yes but you have to use your brain you gotta think on how you're gonna take out some of these enemies some are really easy some have no guns like regular scientists and researchers Pfft, cannon fodder right easy pickings but once you get to those enemies that have the machine guns with the electro shields or the ones who have the electro shields and the flamethrower those are the biggest pains in the asses i swear i kid you not i hate those bastards and every time i kill them oh it feels so good now when it comes to the controls it's a hit or miss you're either gonna enjoy these controls or you're gonna hate them i personally love the controls even though i'm playing it on my xbox one um the thumbsticks using the thumbsticks feel really clean really smooth very responsive now i'll be honest it does feel like a game that might play better with keyboard and mouse. I don't know. If you're a PC player and that's how you play, please, in the comments, let me know. I really want to know if it plays so much better. Should I play it with keyboard and mouse or should I continue to play it with my controller? I personally like my controller, so I'll probably just stick to that. Um, but there are moments you have to kind of think about your size as well as your momentum. Because the bigger you are, you're carrying so much weight, so much mass that you can easily go over not where you want to be. So you're going to have to kind of think and say, OK, if I move here just a bit and then hurry up and kick it over here, I can move the way I want to move and avoid being shot up to shit or burned to a crisp. This is a reverse horror game, right? So emphasis on horror, the soundtrack to this game is creepy very creepy there are moments where there's no music everything is very quiet and then you start to hear a little build up more build up more build up and then boom there's an enemy and you're like oh geez all right here we go come on play this game with headphones i guarantee you you're gonna love it or you're gonna throw your headphones off and say i can't play this and run away and it's kind of strange that you would react that way because I know I did because I'm supposed to be the monster here. I'm supposed to bring fear and terror to the humans. But sometimes that's not the case. The humans will return it tenfold. Humans suck. So with sound, I enjoy it. It's very crisp. All the audio is clean. The way every time you move, you hear Okay, yeah, that was disgusting. That's how it sounds. When you move the monster, that's exactly how it sounds. And it is nasty. It is just, uh, it gives you, gives me, yeah. It's like, makes my skin crawl. Kudos, Phobia, kudos. So the verdict, yes, you hear me praise this game. So you're automatically saying, oh, dude, you love this game. I guess you're gonna say, yeah, try it. Nah. I might shock you because I may come out as M. Night Shyamalan and hit you with a twist. Actually, no, I got a lot more creative talent than that hack. Definitely get the game. It is amazing. Um, right now, it's only for PC, Xbox One and for Nintendo. You fans who got switches, get it. This game is worth it. This is not a ploy. I am not being paid by Devolver. I am not being paid by anyone to do this which is kind of sad. So you made it to the end of my review. Kudos. Hit that red subscribe button. It'll only take a second. Blue thumbs up. Blue thumbs are cool. Hit that bell and turn your notifications to all so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. So until next time, wash your hands, wash your feet, wash your ass. I'm out.